Hello, welcome back. Oh, he's at it again. Just restarted. Okay, we're back to control. We are looking for our brother Dylan. And hello, hello. Oh. That's P6 creepy. is what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Oh. Oh, no, no. has found him. Are you there with him? Can you protect him? Right now, I'm not. I'm here with you. Oh, you mean me, right? Oh. Thank you, this is very nice. Shotgun. Shot a projectile boost, no? Okay. Nothing to read. Another entropy echo. So I guess the only thing left for us to do is over there. Transit corridor? Oh, I think it means the way we came in here. Yeah, pretty, we've pretty much been here. Yeah, so place we can unless... Now we've been here. That's how we got here, I think. The only thing left... What the fuck? Don't do that! I hate it. I hate it because I didn't expect it. Glenn? Glenn? There's blood. There's blood under the, this room. Two to three room. I think this place just murdered someone. since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him. What kind of man he'd grow up to be. Were things as hard for him as they were for me? Maybe in here, they were even harder. Maybe. I just saw a box over there. What the hell? Hello? Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right, uh, well, okay, hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered items. I don't items, have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's a, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so... Uh, just do that. Here, I'll get the door for you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, sure. Langston. Oh, damn. She is getting a Numerous bit sassy. Cell breaches on every level. These his things are a bad influence on my collection. 
Unique procedures required, although the status is suspected but unverified. A blue coffee thermos with a white plastic cup and a logo of Oh Dear Diner. Located in Bright Falls, Washington, the cup doubles as a mug. The item responds to Formula 1.16. Yet no disc discernible altered effect has been discovered, rather than keeping liquids warm for surprisingly long periods of time. It's also worth noting that the coffee from the thermos is always refreshing and strong. No matter its quality before being poured into the item. The thermos was discovered on the shore of Cauldron Lake, outside the town of Bright Falls. Both are known sites of a recurring AWE to Bright Falls. AWE case file for further information. According to witness st statements, Alan Wake, see prime candidate program entry for further information, who went missing shortly before the discovery of the thermos, had been seen blank collecting similar thermoses for a um, blank purpose. Really? Alan Wake. Nice. I like this kind of things. Is the TV back in its box yet? No. No rush or anything, it's just, you know. An ongoing concern. And surprisingly, I wanted to talk to you about every other thing. Do you like working at the FPC? Sure. I mean, yeah, the drama's a bit much, but I get better benefits here than I would over at the Postal Service. I checked. Better health care. That's not to say I don't like my job, ma'am. Been here over 15 years. No one knows the Panopticon collection better than me. I'm, uh, close to them, in a way. I can't tell if that's creepy or normal here. How do you keep the altered items under control? It depends on the item. Each one has different needs. Ritualistic touches go a long way. Singing to them. Did he say singing? Flipping the lights three times, that sort of thing. It's not superstition if it works. What's the difference between objects of power and altered items? Think of them like storms. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes for the uneducated. They're big, rare, and scary. Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Altered items are more like weird thunderstorms. Some may rain frogs, some may rain corn, but they all rain something. And how does the hiss factor into all that? It's changing them, making them aggressive. Now they're all raining I don't know. Knives. Knife rain. Nice metaphor. Pretty accurate, though. Did you work closely with Trench? Oh, he spent most of his time with Darling and all them. The inner circle. Not that I care. Trench certainly had his favorites. He did stop in occasionally to scowl and smoke. Did you know the Bureau has a no-smoking policy? It does. Just not for Trench. Still, he is the one who put aside funding for the Panopticon. The man did have vision. Okay. How did you get this job? Started as a junior agent because my uncle knew a guy. From there I got put on a desk until an accident left the containment sector severely understaffed. At which point I got bumped up to management. Put in a steady eight hours a day for another ten years and voila! Supervisor. I just picked up a gun. Or a gun picked me. Yeah, for some people, you're a I'll see you later, Langston. Place. I'll oh. be here, like and always. Kinda. I would love to work in a place like this. Panopticon. Dylan's close. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find him. Yeah. Whoa, it's a big place. Very big place. It won't open. Nope. Okay. That solves the problem of world. The way we should go first. Okay. Let, let, let's not go do much. Just go the way the game is going to go. No, don't. Please stop.
Is he gonna open some every door for me? I think so. Or not. Now this one open. Mailbox? Okay, um picnic basket. <laughs> Electric fan, okay. Mallet? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so what's black blanked here? Scratch out. Um oh, items you need for something went wrong with the bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall yep. made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? I don't think she's telling me everything. I think... Oh, it's equally that Dylan's and Bureau's fault. <laughs> that was way too close. Way too close. And I can't shoot him. He's flying and he has armor. And I would appreciate if that was in the face. That's the fridge. What are you doing in there? Oh, thank God. Look, someone has to watch this object at all times, or it deviates. My ship replacement never showed up. Can you help me? Damn. I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back. I promise. Okay. Okay. Just don't forget. I yeah. can't stare at this thing much longer. Of course, I'll track this first. After that, it has been found. Okay. okay I'll swap back to the Thailand. Thailand, Dylan. No, no, my brother's keeper. Nope. Yeah, we have lots of those, and we found some. Some more. Destroy this and destroy this. Thank you. Okay, let's see. What do we have in you? Uh, that's level four, so that's going away. We have this 18, 19, so that was worse. Five, five, doesn't matter. Anything else? This. This level four, we have level five. Uh, I think that's all of them. This one, this. One. Yeah, this one's correct. This one's empty as well. Need to. Oh, you guys are Look doing great job. Brace yourselves. She just went into hell. Okay, now we just have to go. That's the object of power. I need one. to cleanse it.
Okay, my vertigo kicks in. Run, I guess. I can subdue him. Come on. Oh, I can because I just can't make it work. Okay, I can see his health. Like Salvador. of the white ocelot first encountered a strange spherical phenomenon while fishing in the blank. Witnesses describe it as a black sphere with faint light behind it. It hovered just off the bow of the ship. They crew blank by throwing in a thin bucket, which disappeared into the sphere. Soon after, the vessel lost structural integrity. The ship's metal rusted and fell apart within minutes. As the ship sank, the sphere lowered into the water. A passing fishing vessel called the Blank rescue, uh, called the Blank rescued the four surviving crew. Agents were dispatched to the White Ocelot's last known coordinates, Blank, and began diving operations. On the ocean floor, the agents found the sphere. The ship was entirely destroyed except for its anchor. As agents lifted the anchor off the ocean floor, they noticed the sphere behaved in conjunction with the anchor, moving and stopping as one. Contact with the spear was avoided, but handling the anchor proved harmless. The item was transported by the Blank to the US port of Blank. Upon arriving in New York, it was brought into the bureau via the Blank. I think we have something new on the hotline as well. We'll look into it. Levitate? Wait, 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 I need to see it. Uh, oh, it's multimedia. No? I'm probably sure it should be in the hotline. Maybe it's not here yet. Oh, wait, wait. Hold. Ooh. 
Okay, we can just keep levitating. I don't see any energy. Yeah, but after some time she... Okay, we can just let go. No! I uh, It's the curse of double jump. <laughs> it was going so well. Oh, it's over. Hold, to, hold space to levitate. Okay, I get it. Hold space to levitate. Keep holding space to levitate higher. Okay. As we can see, she starts losing height for some time. Press this again in order to and press it again. Okay, we've got it. Okay, I dealt with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. How is it even working? Yeah, she just starts losing the height. <laughs> Same thing. She's moving kind of funny and she's in the air. Away! Away! Away with you! I missed, I missed, I missed. Really? Stay away. Thank you. Am I that bad at shooting? Yes, I am. Wait, I can... Okay, I can shoot while in the air. Fine. So I for that one, the maximum score still is 5. Not gonna change my... Working strategy, no! Okay, okay, I can just restart it, kinda. something slowly Before it kind of works. We are on the level three right now, I think. Yep. Nope. Yep. Remember, do not press space again. Oh, you will die. It's fine. <laughs> Trying to see her wriggle 
her arms well in the air. Wait, what? Yeah. For some reason she wouldn't gain any height. No? The over there I think. P6 cell, it's over there. Sw <gasps> it's the swan! Hello! Wait, first things first. We have a box over here. And a balloon. Okay. We have the swan, the swan boat, which we read about earlier. Uh, here we have. Oh, it's the water dispenser that everyone likes. Yes, and crowbar. Dylan, he's so close. And he should be over somewhere in here. Yes? Jesse. Are you there? Jesse. Emily? He's gone. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. We need to get back. And we I have it. to see my brother. But we need to get, find a replacement for the guy. Okay. So let's see. Can we make my sister agent? Tracy finds an agent who has been left to start a search against her much longer, but he blinks. Oh, oh he cannot blink? Oh, that's creepy. The higher part. Why do they have red light on his cell? Is still the source of the his? Oh, I saw the box. <sighs> Nothing here except that our name carved in uh, the glass. Oh. All right. I won't take up too much of your time today, Dylan. Like I said, I want to talk about Jessie, your sister. What about her? I just want to get your perspective. What do you think of her? What kind of person is she? That sort of thing. I adored my sister. When I was little, I mean. Back in ordinary. And you don't anymore? When I first got here, sure. I'd always hoped she'd come too. Find me. To take me home. We went everywhere together. Why should this be any different? Casper said she could come too. To the Bureau. If she wanted to. But she never did. Why do you think that is? <laughs> because she didn't care about me. She always wanted to be out on her own, seeing the world. She always said so. Because she got what she wanted. Great. So, she wanted to see the world. Did she ever mention any place in particular? Why? We like to ask questions around here, you know that. Any particular cities, towns, landmarks, anything like that? I don't remember. What about family and friends? Were you close with anyone living outside of Ordinary? I'm done with this. Tell Casper I want pizza for lunch today. Dylan, wait. We're not... End of session. 
I think by asking all those questions they well not intentionally but brainwashed him. Kinda. Well he started hating Jesse just no. Oh. Wait, how do I oh I can't get over there. No, it's kinda unfair. Like, you know, I get it. He was a kid, he, was, he didn't want to be alone. Like, holding a grudge like this. Oh. Um, doing wrong that other kid did not come to help. No. Nope. I didn't release the space. It was on the floor, floor I think. No, and the, no, yeah, it was fourth floor. Oh, it was on the other side. Come on. Oh, do we need to switch places with him and wait for the exchange or do we need to bring someone else? I wouldn't mind sitting now and staring at the fridge a minute or so. Okay. Keep your eyes open. Hey, what can I do? Oh, you're back! Oh, thank you, thank you! If, if I look away, I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here! The door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. Of course. That's Langston, if he's still around. Langston. Yeah, I know him. I'll go ask him how to get you out. Please hurry. My eyes. They can't. They can't. Hey, calm down. Just focus. What's your name? Focus. Right. My, my, my name's Philip, and... I think I can hold on for a bit. It's just my eyes. My eyes hurt so much. Just hang on, Philip. Just how long does he sit in that way? I don't think I will. Whoa! That was scary. Hello. Where's the elevator? <laughs> Section four. Okay. Why is it so? I think we're somewhere we should be. Yeah. Come on, get up there, please, Jesse, please. Oh, I could have just used the control point. I guess that's fun here. <laughs> okay, Erlang, so we need to get your man out of there. There's someone named Philip up in a cell. He's watching a refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip? Oh shit, I forgot about fridge duty. He's been in there for over a day, I totally forgot. You forgot about him? There's a lot going on. The hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's- Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door? Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. There, done, door, open. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. I'll figure something out. I'm pretty good with these things. Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, ma'am. He doesn't know us very well. Okay, I don't want to... I'll see you later, Langston. Anything I'll be you? here, like always. So what, that's all? Oh. Return to Philip. <laughs> I will use this. Oh, and we have another ability. Maybe another launch damage. 
Wait, what? No sandy. Oh, it's adding? Like, consistently adding? Plus 25, then plus 50, and plus 50, and... Whoa. Nice. If that's the thing, then that's nice. Yeah, I'll construct charge. Yeah, we need more stuff. Right, I forgot the, what we were supposed to go to. Uh, upper no, panoptic, I think. Yep. Oh. Yep, yeah, we're already here. Hello. Oh, there he is. Hello? Yeah, yeah I'm here. Jesse? I'm back. I'm coming in. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesse. The French is doing something. Philip? Oh. Oh. Incident in question occurred on blank and was brought to HR department's attention by the internal security personnel who intervened. According to reports reported by security camera footage, Agent Filson entered the staff kitchen with the intention of consuming his private meal, a homemade sandwich cut diagonally and packed in a plastic container, but discovered the refrigerator had blank his meal. Agent Filson began to kick the bureau-owned appliance as he expected his frustration, expressed his frustration in a loud and profane manner. This behavior caused multiple staff members to present to become alarmed. Security was uh, alerted soon after. Filson complied with security's command to desist. Agent Filson was reprimanded and suspended for the remainder of the ongoing work week. The review committee re recommends the one non-mandatory counseling session. Philip, you don't want to go in there. Actually, you know what? Before we get in there, I'm gonna take a break. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.